Oh! No! You yes! got him! Whoa! All right, we got ourselves a episode doing something we haven't done before. We're going to be bow fishing off of an airboat with Central Florida Charters in Orlando. Right now we are driving from the Florida Keys to Orlando. We got Lauren behind the camera. She's going to be helping out today. And before we go shoot some fish, we're going to stop in Orlando and go to the ICAST. 2023 we're gonna look at the newest fishing products we'll bring the camera in there we might film a little bit if we see anything really cool we'll film that probably won't be too much footage doing that but then uh what we really want to do is shoot some fish so we're gonna keep driving now we'll get to the convention center and then we're gonna get the party started all right we have arrived at icast and it is huge Take a look around. Now, I'm gonna pick the coolest thing that I find and you pick the coolest thing you find and then we'll videotape it. Look who we ran into out here. Hey, we're broke, but we're, we're alive. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. We're getting kicked out of iCast. We're getting kicked out of iCast. Yeah. It is last call. Look, they turned all the lights off. We had a good time at the boat show, and we said we were going to pick out our very favorite things that we saw. And I'm going to have to say the Everglades Fish & Co. socks. The square grouper sock, probably the coolest thing that I saw. Wow, we got some mosquitoes coming in the car. What is your favorite thing? Um, my favorite was the little baby hogfish at FWC. FWC, and they also gave us this awesome Go Outdoors Florida thermos. Thermos. We got two of them. Now we're gonna meet up with Central Florida Charters. I see them right over there firing up the airboat. So let's go walk over there and say hi to them. All right, we finally made it out here with Dewey with Central Florida Charters. And um, what do you do and what can we expect today? All right, we'll be going in and out of Lake Jessup and some little cuts and coves and bow fishing for some tilapia and gar, mudfish, whatever hops in front of us kind of deal. Heck yeah, this is our very first bow fishing video on the South Florida Fishing Channel. Wow. So super stoked about that if you enjoy this video and you want to do a trip like this all his information is going to be in the video description below let's go shoot something awesome let's do it All right, we might need a little rundown. Yeah, on, for sure. Uh, I'll just hand you this. Okay. I'll get this other one out and then. All right. Oh, I'm so excited to shoot this. Hold the bow like that. Just make sure that that arrow every time is right in between there. Mm -hmm. You just pull it back. Before you shoot, every time before you pull it back, push that button. Okay. Because that's going to let the line go out. Got it. Pull back, aim with the tip of the arrow, shoot, and then you just reel. That's right. it. Yeah. So if it's got fins and swims, if take exactly. shoot at it. Pretty much in here, you can shoot anything you see. We yeah, really don't have any bass in here. Armor catfish are in here. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you guys can stand up here and lean on this bar, that bar will not go anywhere. We're in hunting I, I, mode. I feel like my life is like a constant series of like that movie freeze frame where it's like, I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> bet you're wondering how I got here. Are we going to shoot the same fish? I'll put a follow up shot on yours when it gets off the shaft. Oh, thank you. I'm like not 100% sure yet what I'm looking for. Like what the fish is going to look like. That, I, there might be a fish right up there, I think. How do I get the, the arrow back? Yeah, it's, yeah you just got to kind of yank. Oh, yank it? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, I, I saw the arrow tip sticking out of there. Yeah, if you 
goes down in. Nice. It gets stuck yeah. in those uh, the roots. Okay, so like the more that I shoot kind of down angle, the deeper it's gonna go probably. Yeah. So how do you aim the arrow? Do you like aim at there or do you look at the fish and? So yeah. I just kind of look at both from the tip of the arrow and the fish and just kind of aim just a little bit underneath of it. Okay. And then the other thing is, is the deeper they are, the further down you need to, to aim. aim. Yeah. There's a guy. A lot of offshore stuff would come out here and out on the river. And just, there you go. Got yeah! Him. There you go. Whacked him! <laughs> oh, you know what? That was my mistake. I didn't uh I didn't close the oh my God, good or shot. open the thing. Wow! <laughs> okay. Wow, my confidence just went up like yeah. a lot. <laughs> After the first one, I feel like, okay, now now I have something to gauge off of. Yeah, that yep. first one's rough, man. So if you hit that one. Like your second time shooting, you got it. Oh, no. Woo! Oh yeah! Wow! Hey, buddy! Oh, oh boy! Oh. oh! Oh! There we go! <laughs> wow! Look at those teeth. That is so cool. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he's a meaty little guy. No, <laughs> Hop on in. Can I rinse my hands? Yeah, okay. absolutely. I've, I've got no, nothing's gonna grab me. He's got white. <laughs> well. No, I can. I can just rinse my hands. Good job. Thank you. Uh, I don't see him, but he's... Ah! Oh, little sneaky fish. There's a little fish right there. That's a big mud fish. Oh! Right oh. in the warp. Whew, all right. Yep, I snapped another line. All right, when you're bow fishing, make sure you put your reel in free spool or else you'll snap your line like I have already twice in a row. We're learning here. Wait, is that a fish? There's a fish. Right there. Oh, oh my god, how did I miss that fish? Damn it. I think you touched it. That was a nice one. Those are baby tilapia right there? Yeah. Adorable. Whoa, oh, no. I thought that was so close. Oh. I thought that was it. Damn it. I know. Come on, buddy. There is one right there. He was. Come here, fish. Oh. Oh. Did you get him? Uh, no. Oh. Oh. I think you hit him though, like first. Yeah, or you nicked him. They're so skinny, the gar. Yeah. You take this shot. No, you should have. You take the <laughs> shot. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Oh. Oh, <laughs> damn. Chasing me. Oh, yeah. Oh. What the world was that? I, I think that was a guard jumping. Oh, so close. You gotta get this. Did I get it? No. Oh. Oh. Did you get it? I don't. I don't think so. But I was so close. Wow, we're in the hot spot right now. They're everywhere. Oh, look at them all. Oh, shot low. <laughs> And I got whipped in the hand like a noob. Oh, what's that? That was a fast. <laughs> there was just like three really fast black looking fish. That's kind of a far shot, right? Would you guys take yeah, that yeah. shot? It would be really cool if you hit that shot. Huh? There's another nice one over there. Oh, damn. I see him. So Good redemption. That one's so far out. Oh, it went right up. You never know. Above him. That was kind of fun, actually, because you could see your arrow fly. Yeah. Oh, yeah! yeah! That was good. Oh That's a giant. Did, oh, oh, my God. God. Did, oh, I thought I got him, too. Nice, good work. Oh, shit! You got in there. That was a sniper. Yeah, that was a long shot. Yes. Yes. Just when you thought you had the lead. <laughs> I gotta mark this spot. That guy's only got one uh, one eye. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, one-eyed gar. That's gotta be some kind of lucky. I think we're good right now. Right. Yeah, they were like swimming like from there to there. What's going on here? These little fish are freaking out. So what happens is in this grass underneath of it, grass shrimp live in there. When you move oh. these weeds, it knocks the grass shrimp loose. 
and all those little fish come up and start eating. Oh, grass shrimp. That sounds kind of delicious. They're, yeah, they're only about that big. Tiny little. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh. oh damn. Gosh. He came flying out of the oh water. Gonna fly in the boat. <laughs> Ooh! I think you tickled his tail. I'm doing my typical, uh, you know, trying to untangle and not. Oh! oh! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Woo! Oh! I think the um, I think the, I think the tip came off inside of him. I think he was spinning, so it like spun it off of him. Smart guy, he almost got himself free. Well, I don't know. There's a hole on that side and that side. I know. Yeah, I, I feel something in there, but I don't know if that's just his like ribs or... Wow, these guys have hard... Skin. It's like an armor. There you go, there you go. Oh, I shot way low on him. Yeah. Okay, this is a fishy spot. No! You yeah. got him! Whoa! <laughs> good point out. Oh, Hell yeah. oh instant, no, that's a good yeah. one. instant kill. That's a good one. Woo! Nice. That was satisfying. Look, look at that headshot. Woo! Yeah, that's a fat fatty. Oh no! I thought I heard it snap. Wait, it went right. There, uh oh, I, oh, I see the string on the yep. bottom. I messed up too. <laughs> you can't you hit see? It if you're not shooting. Oh, no. I, for, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Whew. I was grabbing all sorts of stuff. <laughs> got it. Oh, you got him. Epic oh shot. Wow, oh, that's really a good like, one. <laughs> Fatty boop laddie. Where's his friend? I felt good about that one. I'm like at that relaxed point, like that relaxed focus. That's a good one right there. That's a nice one. You got bit by an alligator? Yeah. Oh man. I was being stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was my own fault. I grabbed him by the tail, because that's all I could grab, and he just swung back around and Grab my thigh. Oh wow! My GoPro may have overheated the second you shot. Oh uh, my! But you know. That's okay. The memory lives here. <laughs> of him just floating up like yeah, that. Yeah, that was epic. That was. So I didn't good. even think that was one of my better shots. That's what he said though. That like when you don't think it is. <laughs> yes. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that was a perfect shot. Thanks, guys. You want to hold it on the arrow or yeah. take it off? I want to hold him. One fish addicted. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think I got him though, but then we, like, it went down and then he kind of like goes like that. Yeah, oh, yeah right in the head. Another toothy critter. Look at them teeth. I'm trying to think what fish I can target in the keys with a bow. Bermuda chubs. Chubs, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. <laughs> They're kind of like the saltwater tilapia. I bet you could shoot a yellow tail. It would be hard, but yeah. really chum them up. That would be cool. Yeah, chum them up heavy. Oh, right here. No, I, I, you know, I thought I got him, but I didn't. Oh, there's one. You see him? Woo! Nice, another nice one. Perfect shot. Woo! Oh, that's four. Good job. <laughs> that face, only a mother could love. Oh, right here in front of us. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, oh! Horrible. Oh, why did I do that? That was a fatty. Go. There you go. Oh, oh right on the road. Oh. Three points. Lily pad. <laughs> There's something up there. They like take off before we get to them. Oh, did you get them? Shit! I. Yeah. That was a tilapia, I think. I think. It was like Okay, it goes like this. <laughs> Why does it? <laughs> oh, yeah, 
goodness, thank you. <clears throat> Anyways, the, I, I'm pushing the button this time. They should have just an auto, auto engage. There's something over here. <laughs> I gave him a chance. Back there. Gave him every chance in the world. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Thank you. Oh, there he goes. That was, I think that was a tilapia. Yeah. That one looks orange though. Orange. Yeah, that'd be a tilapia. Oh, man. I've never wanted tilapia so bad in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Like, I really want one too. I love how his little hands and feet are on his side. There's a gar over here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him chill. Oh, he's asking for it. I'm absolutely asking for it. No, bad shot, bad shot. <laughs> there's, some, there's something big swimming right there. Oh, just sitting. Yeah. <laughs> Armored catfish? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Another species. Oh. Good job. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, invasive. Yes. Holy moly, look at that guy. I'm guessing these are spikes on his side. Yep. Yeah, he looks spiky. If you go backwards on their scales, it is going to kind of hurt. That's a cool looking fish. It almost looks fake. It's, it's like, like a dinosaur. Wow. Yeah, get the mouth. Get the mouth. <laughs> on the meat on those, it's really, really good. He's so cool, right? That's why they're called armored. Nice, and he's got a nice hole on the top of his head. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was a perfect shot. <laughs> These are all like the world's hardest to flay fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're all like armored plated. Look at this spider just crawling along the surface. Oh, right there. Oh, I think oh, you were right behind it. Damn, I think that was a tilapia too. Oh, what? <laughs> that was a tilapia. He tricked me. Oh, that's a big one right there. Yeah, that'd be nice to get a tilapia in the bag. Then we'd have three species. Ooh. Where's my fat little tilapia? There is a tilapia right there. Holy smokes. Look, 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 look. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see see how know. easy it is to accidentally shoot one? Oh, that was an alligator? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a tilapia. Oh, my God. Damn. Look at the little footprints. Hey, what kind of footprints are these? Oh, that's skunk ape. Oh, that's, that's alligator. Okay, alligator. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, big giant mudfish. Smoke No! Right in front of him. Shit. There he goes. He's going like into those bushes right there. I shot like right in front of his face, I think, yeah, or something. Like an inch right back, right in front of him. Oh. And he didn't even care. Yeah, he didn't he care. Uh, no, those are dark. He swam like right up into those little leaves. His little like snake looking yeah. tail, that was yep. cool. Oh my! Oh, I, got it. Yes, I, think so. I I don't know. I Did it? I don't know. I saw a big oh. swirl over here. I felt like I hit him, it but it sounded like a thud. Oh, that is a nice one. Oh, juicy one. That's the biggest one. This will be interesting trying to clean them. We're back in the Keys and I got the gar and the armored catfish in this cooler right here. And we're gonna try to fillet them, which should be pretty interesting because these things like legit armor on them. That catfish is rock solid. And Lauren took a couple home with her and she sent me this video of these fried gar balls that she made. And she said that they were 10 out of 10 
So I'm super excited to cook these up. I've never had gar before. I've also never had armored catfish before, but I'm not gonna be frying them. I'm gonna be making them on the Traeger. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit, but I will have some extra. So Lauren might come over and make us some of them fried gator balls. Before we get started, another big shout out to Captain Dewey and Captain Nathan for taking us out on their charters. Central Florida charters. If you guys are ever like, going to Disney World with the family or you're around Orlando, hit them up. They do nighttime and daytime bow fishing charters. I'll also link them in the video description below. Let them know you saw them on the South Florida Fish Channel. We're definitely planning another trip and next time we're gonna be doing the nighttime bow fishing. By the way, if you guys enjoyed having Lauren on this episode, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, because Lauren and I are going to Oklahoma in a few days to do some, you ready for this? Never done this before either on the channel, catfish gigging, where you get in the muddy water and you use your hands and you stick them in holes underwater and you wait for a catfish to grab your hand and then you pull it out of the hole. With my luck, I'll probably, there'll be a big snapping turtle in there and I'm gonna lose one of my fingers. So hit that subscribe button because I know you guys want to watch me lose a finger. I know how you guys are. If you're on Instagram, go follow Lauren. This is her page. I'll link it in the video description below. She does some extremely cool stuff. She's got a lot of spear fishing, world records. Let's get to the real deal, the armored catfish. Ooh wee, look at that bad boy. So the video that I was watching, what they do is there's a little fin right here, this little back fin. We're gonna take a nice sturdy knife and put it right in behind that fin and cut down into it like, oh, it looked a lot easier on the video. And then we're gonna basically run the knife and cut the top of the fish off. So it's actually working. Working better than I thought it would. Okay, we're getting there. If I could like clamp this tail down a bit, that'd be great. I wonder if I could uh, like chop it, you know? Like, oh, that actually works pretty, that worked pretty good. Okay, we're almost there. That meat looks good in there. Feels like I've got to the end of the road. It doesn't want to go anymore at all. Okay, so now I'm gonna chop the head off. Wow, that is, I don't even think my knife will get through that without breaking. There we go, got through it. And guts just splattered all over my kitchen. Classic. All right, there is the top of the armored catfish. Discard that. Now I'm gonna take a smaller knife and kind of run, run it along the skin and the meat to separate the skin and the meat. Oh wow, that was very easy. Okay, extremely easy. Let's do that to the other side. Okay, we want to get rid of the head and all the guts because I don't want that to touch the meat and potentially contaminate it. Wow, look at that. I, I pretty much just pulled all the guts out. Okay, this probably would be a better to do outside. I, I'm telling you, I'm getting fish guts all over my walls right now. There we go. Just needed a little bit of manpower. There we go, our, our piece of catfish meat right there. And there's the ribs. Okay, we got all the guts out. I'm gonna rinse this under some fresh water. There's this like stomach lining too on the meat. Like this stuff right here, I'm pulling all of that off. It actually comes off very easily. You know what's interesting is that this fish it smells very good. It actually, it smells like the swamp and the swamp smells very like fresh and earthy and like nice. It just smells actually very good, not fishy at all. So I will wrap this piece of fish in a paper towel for now and um, let's do the gar. Wow, that is a slimy fish, very slimy. So Lauren told me that she just took a scissor and just cut it open. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make like a little incision right here. Oh, I can't even get through that skin. Uh. Ugh. 
Oh, I can't get through that. You need a little sheer force, I believe. Here, actually, I think it's safer to use a shorter, thicker knife. Oh, okay, made it in. Bingo. Then we're gonna take some scissors and just cut along the back of the fish. So we're quite, quite literally cutting this fish open. Just like that. Check it out. Cut perfectly along the back. Now we're gonna cut the head off. We're gonna use our thick blade. I think the thicker your blade is, the safer this is. The thicker and shorter blade is better. All right, and when we rip the head off, all the guts should come out with it. Perfect. Are we having fun yet? Now we're gonna, kinda like the catfish, we're gonna run the knife against the skin and just separate the meat from the from that really tough skin. Oh, that is so easy. The meat just comes right apart from it. Wow, that is a super white meat in there. That actually looks very delicious. We're gonna do the same to both sides here. Again, this is a very slimy fish on the outside. The meat's not slimy though, the meat feels good in there. Seems like the meat just pulls right off. Oh yeah, look at that. Just peels apart perfectly. This is actually kind of fun, like I'm enjoying this. Oh, it's even got caviar in it. Look at that. Oh, we're rich boys. Now that right there looks a five, like a $500 tin of caviar. Lucky for me, I would have ate it and got sick, but Lauren told me if you eat this caviar, she, cause she wanted to and she looked it up, there's a toxin inside of these eggs that will make you sick. So we will not be trying the caviar. And seriously, like good thing she looked that up because I would have tried it without looking it up and I probably would have been throwing up all night long. This slab of meat, right out of the shell. Just need a little bit of elbow grease. Just a little bit. Okay, and then you just cut it back here where the tail is. Woo! Pull this red bloodline out of the center. We don't wanna eat that. At least I don't think we do. There we have it. This right here is a beautiful piece of gar, and I'll rinse it off. We'll wrap it in a paper towel, and then let's cook these suckers up. And. Look at the inside of this fish. It's just like a hollow fish, but you can see how strong that skin is. It holds its shape, doesn't move. Very hard to cut through. Look at that gar. That is a very interesting piece of meat. This is the catfish or the armored cat. And we're gonna season them up and throw them on the Traeger. Slap me silly, look at those pieces of meat. And we got ourselves some fresh chives from my little garden outside. And we're gonna chop it Got a little bit of greens in there. And we're gonna take our South Florida Fishing Channel seasonings. We got our blackening. And we're just gonna add a little bit of the blackening. Not a lot, just a little bit. And we have our Sweet Heat, which is one of my favorite flavors. Actually, they're all my favorite. Add a little bit of Sweet Heat in there. And then we got our garlic and onion, which I will add a, just a little bit of that. And we got ourselves a little bit of olive oil that we'll drizzle on there. Now I'm just gonna give the fish a nice good spread. Get that onion on there, get the seasonings lathered in there. It smells so good. We're gonna make some pockets of goodness. Take the gar and take the catfish, lay it into our little foil pockets here. And I have this bag from Publix, which has onions, potatoes, carrots, also a nice thing of rosemary. I'll put the rosemary right on top. Yeah, we'll lay the little rosemary leaves right on the fish. Our vegetables and onions will also go in there. And then we will wrap them up. We're not gonna close them entirely. Okay, we're gonna leave them just like that because we're gonna put them on the Traeger and we're gonna let the smoke get into the fish and get that smoky flavor in here. And then after like five or 10 minutes, we'll, then we'll close them and let them finish cooking. Who we out on the porch? What a beautiful day. The sun is going down. It's actually 7.50 p.m. right now. Our Traeger uses these wood pellets, which it smokes, and these are the Traeger Signature Blend, which is a blend of maple wood, cherry wood, and other artisanal woods, whatever that means. But it's natural, clean burn, and it's made in the USA, baby! 
I just turned the Traeger on. Now it's gonna feed the pellets into the uh, the burner there. We're gonna wait for the smoke to come up, which usually takes about a minute. Ooh, it's starting to smoke. <laughs> Got our catfish and our gar. So I'm gonna put these amazing pouches on the Traeger. We're gonna leave them open so the smoke can get into the vegetables and into the fish. We'll let it smoke like that, probably for like five minutes, and then I'll close them up and we'll let it finish cooking. You don't want to overdo it on the smoky flavor. You can overdo it, trust me. I've overdone it, and then it's like, it's just too much. So just like five minutes should be good. Time to wrap them up. Ooh, it's hot. It's been 20 minutes and the Traeger is running at about 400 degrees. So we're gonna try to get some fish with our fork and see if it's done cooking. It was not done cooking. Let's give it another, let's just give it another 10 minutes. It should be done. All right, it's been another 10 minutes. We're gonna take these bad boys out. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Ah, my fingers. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh. Take the rosemary off. That's the gar. And then that is the catfish down there. Take the rosemary off of that one. Ooh, juicy. You see all that? Oh, that is juicy and succulent. We'll take our fork. Let's just see if we can't get ourselves a nice little piece of fish off of there. Oh, nice. That nice and flaky. Oh, it's like a little pinkish. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. Before I tried that catfish, I got like fish juice all over the walls. It's all over my cabinets. It's all over the floor. <laughs> There's just like bloody fish rags all over my kitchen. And this is a great time to give a shout out to my cleaning company, which is based here in Key Largo. And we do house cleanings and office cleanings between Miami all the way down to Isla Mirada. Our website is bookecoclean.com. You can book a cleaning online, pick the amount of rooms you have. So if you have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a living room, and a kitchen, that would be six rooms. You can pick any additional things and you can book your cleaning online or you can call the number and we'll be happy to get your house sparkling clean. So I'm definitely gonna have one of our mates come tomorrow. But if you're in South Florida and you've been looking for a cleaning service, please check out mine. And we've always had 100% satisfaction. Anyways, let's try this catfish and let's see how this catfish tastes. Hold on, I need another bite. All right. You know, I was a little scared because I kind of like cooked it like this. I knew, I know that a lot of people fry their fish, like fry these freshwater fish. And when you fry them, of course they're gonna be good. Anything fried is good. So I really wanted to cook them like this to really get the flavor of the fish. And dang, that is actually good. So I bet fried, the, woo, armored catfish? Check mark in my book. Let's try the, very white flaky meat. Well, actually, hold on. Maybe, I wouldn't say that it's flaky. I would say that it's, it's actually kind of tough. Like, uh, I would compare this to maybe like trigger fish. Hey, what's another fish I could compare this to? It's like, uh, like chicken almost, but it's a very white meat. It just smells like the seasonings. It's got a little smoky flavor from the uh, Traeger. In terms of taste, the fish is like, completely neutral. There's no fish taste at all. All The only thing that I taste is the seasonings. I also left all the bones on it, so you gotta kinda eat around the bones. It's like chicken. I bet those fried gar balls that Lauren made were, those must have been so good because this, this is good right here. Let's see how the vegetables turned out. Mmm. You know, probably the best way to eat this, here's the catfish again. I. All right, armored catfish versus gar. I will say that the catfish, in my opinion, is better. It's a little softer, it's not as dry, but the gar is more of a white meat and has less flavor. So the gar is probably really good for frying. Mmm, the catfish. The catfish is much more moist and flaky. Oh yeah, you can see the ribs. I'm just, you can suck the meat right off the ribs. Yeah, you see a little, you see them little ribs right there? You can just 
suck the meat right off them, peels right off. Not in a million years would have I ever kept an armored catfish. I had no idea you could even eat those things. I didn't even know you could fillet those things. I, I'm surprised I was able to do it. Oh, that is a good piece of meat right there. Look at that. Let me pull it off. Mm. Thank you guys for watching this episode to the end. It means a lot. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Again, huge shout out to everyone at iCast. Shout out to Dewey, to Nathan, to Lauren. Shout out to you guys still watching because you watched all the way to the end of the video, which really helps the algorithm and helps promote my videos. But I will see you guys on the very next episode. Cheers. <laughs>